Mirror, mirror on the roof, who's the coolest and the greenest of them all? Africa's largest cell phone operator recently invested in the continent's biggest concentrating solar cooling plant. Chatting away, SMSing or surfing the net. MTN's data center in Fairlands heats up quite a bit when dealing with customers' data. If we don't keep it cool, the equipment will overheat and we'll have data loss in the data center. We try and keep it within uh, ASHRAE class 1 limitations, i.e. 23 to 27 degrees C. Within South Africa, uh, within the next two years, we're going to pay carbon tax. We want to avoid paying carbon tax and we want to reduce operational expenses on mechanical equipment. That's why this made perfect sense for us to invest in. 242 solar mirrors covering an area of about 480 square meters track the sun, collect and concentrate its heat to in turn heat pressurized water. One could be excused for being confused as this plant uses the heat of the sun to well cool down the data center. Concentrating solar cooling system allows us to produce a higher temperature heat, in this case here 180 degrees, and with that uh, power and a double effect absorption chiller, which is a higher efficiency absorption chiller, producing more cooling from the same amount of heat um, as it would be possible with other uh, solar technologies. Absorption chillers use um, use heat which uh, is used under vacuum to evaporate um, uh, a liquid which is water in our case as a refrigerant and uh, by doing so we extract heat from a chilled water coil and that again is then producing the cooling effect that we deliver to the building. The plant's cooling capacity equals the power consumption of a hundred households. Germany's Global Dina Solar Roofs program helped to finance the project. It's a very new system even in the branch of the PV um, technology and that's why we decided to use this system in our program. With the aid of Dina, the capital equipment was discounted to such a rate where we got a decent return of investment. It's even for Germany an interesting project because uh, this project could be realized in the framework between the German and South African energy partnership. MTN foresees the period of return on investment shrinking from over 10 years to about 6 years. Expectations are high for lower electricity bills, a smaller carbon footprint, but most importantly world-class technology operating successfully in Africa. Marisa de Klerk, Joburg Today.